everyone, it's Stephanie with Simmerkey, and today's speed build is brought to you by the EA Game Changers program. Thank you so much EA Game Changers for providing early access, so early in fact that this is not the final version of the game and anything can change between now and release. Now today we are building a tiny cottage on the river. It's got its own cute little pond and I'm really excited for this. Now we do have a new pond tool that's coming with the base game update and I do have a completely separate tutorial on how to use that if you're curious. And I usually don't manipulate the terrain when I build ponds. Obviously I use the pools like everyone else. And so now that I got to using the terrain manipulation a bit more. I decided why not make a little hill as well so that our cottage can be up elevated from the water and the footage right now is me really trying to make some sort of waterfall. I know that there are certain items in debug that you can use to make waterfalls but I was hoping I could make like a higher terrain and then a lower terrain and it would flow into it but no such luck. I mean it kind of works that way but there's not like like you don't see the water falling, it's just all at the same level. And so it, it didn't work out exactly like I wanted, but I still thought it was really cute. And the actual lot that I'm building on has a beautiful river that runs along it. So it's very picturesque from every single angle. And I'm doing a lot of smoothing here because I, I, you know, I didn't realize how jagged some of this was. I kept manipulating, manipulating the tools themselves to kind of do lower pressure because I kept getting like these really sharp curves like these sharp corners on the edges and I thought it looked absolutely silly uh, but then again I really don't play with terrain very much so I, I was probably just doing something wrong I don't know um, and I was gonna put some stairs in there but they didn't feel very natural so what I'm gonna do instead is sort of make my own stairs because there are certain levels with the terrain where your sim can go up and then if it's too high they can't. So I did player test this. I usually don't player test but I had to make sure that a sim was capable of actually getting into the house otherwise what's the point? And this took a little bit of work but it ended up turning out really cute so I'm glad I put in the effort. I don't know if this is going to make me want to completely use terrain in the future but I'm sure it's one of those things that the more you deal with it the easier it gets and you probably pick up like a lot of tips and tricks along the way. At least I have like a basic understanding of how it works. So success, we were able to get her up there. And that means we can start smoothing out those edges and start working on the house. Now the pond, once again, is super exciting. I will show you when we get to that part, all of the decorations and such that you could add. We can add basically animals now. They're not they're, it's kind of hard to explain because animals aren't interactive. They're more like decoration, but they move. So we can have swans. We can have ducks, two different types of ducks. We can have alligators or crocodiles. I still don't know the difference. And I live in Florida, so I should know the difference. <laughs> we have mosquitoes and fishies and fireflies and all sorts of fun stuff. So I will make sure to add as many as I can to this pond to make it look super cute and realistic. And now I'm just, I made like the part wider because I thought I was going to end up putting a covered porch and it didn't quite turn out that way. So I do end up removing that and just doing a ton of landscaping. One thing I will say about the pond, so just like with the train, when you start to manipulate it, when you're putting pieces of landscaping and grass and flowers and rocks down too close to an edge, they do this weird elevation thing where they like, like float in the middle of the air. Um, so I did have a little bit of trouble with that, but you can cover it up with different plants and rocks and such. So don't let that part intimidate you. Um, but that is something that they still haven't fixed. And I'm pretty sure it's something they said they were going to work on when the tool first came out. So I'm not sure if they still intend on doing it. This would have been a perfect time to do it with the release of the pond tool, but fingers crossed it's something that they work on in the future because it'll make it, things so much easier. And my cute little cottage here has, of course, the new thatched roofs. I love them so much. They do come in a quite big variety of colors, but the problem is they look very, very similar. So there's probably like three or four different browns and a couple of greens, I think, and some beiges, but they're all very close in tone, as you can see here as I'm going through them. So I do like the variety. I just wish it wasn't a, a subtle of a change. But on the other hand, you can mix and match the roofs pretty easily. So if you wanted to have like a very worn and weathered old look to it, it would be nice to mix a couple different colors there. And the windows, you're going to hear me talk about the windows pretty much 
cottage every time I mention anything about cottage living. They are so precious and I was able to get a super adorable glass, uh, stained glass butterfly in there. I think it is what makes the house look super cute and charming. And while I was recording this, I did only have access to cottage living and base game, but I really want to play around with those stained glass windows and combine them with the ones from Realm of Magic to make something extra special. Now on the top of the roof there, this piece, I still haven't quite figured out what it is. I want to be able to play with it again. And I'm pretty sure that they are beams that are supposed to go across the top of the room. But I just put them up on top of the roof and layered them together to make just a cute little decor piece so that the roof wasn't completely flat on top. I think it worked out pretty well. Not probably what's it, what it is intended for, but it worked for my purposes. And here I am putting on the porch. I made sure to make it curved because I thought it just added a cute little element. And then, of course, we have the beautiful wisteria, I think it's called, like the vines that come down. There's also ones that go across and there's some bigger pieces of ivy and so I will decorate the entire side of the cottage to make it look more overgrown. And these cute little lights are actually succulents. They're little succulents in glass jars and they function as a light which I thought was adorable because it's multi-purpose. It's a plant and a light in one. Um, the wagon I believe is something we already have in base game. I'm not sure if not. Oh no 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 that's not. That's a new item that we got as well as that taller potted plant which looks great indoors and outdoors. And then of course we got the new topiaries. <laughs> we have the cow, we have the flying chicken, which is huge. It's bigger than the bunny. I don't know why. And the bunny, um, but I thought they were really cute. The only problem is they're green. So if you put them around any sort of grass, they just blend in. So I thought I would kind of combat this with a bunch of different flowers. It would have been nice if they came in different colors, but I understand they're meant to be like bushes. So it probably wouldn't have made, I don't know. I don't know if it makes sense to have those different color variations, but again, it's an easy fix to just go through with brightly colored flowers to separate them from the other landscaping. And we have these sunflowers in base game. I swear I never use them. I forget they're there. They just, they don't exist in my head. And so I thought this was the perfect opportunity to add to our beautiful little country cottage build here. Um, they're really, really cute. And if you want to add a lot of them, you can actually increase and decrease the size by using your bracket keys to make them look way more natural. And we have some bunnies, which I got from Debug. Now, if you missed it, I did do a ton of videos. I have a build by review, a world overview, a debug and live edit object video. And I found these little animals in there, the bunnies and the chicks and pretty much all the animals. Um, but <laughs> I thought they were objects because like the babies in debug, they don't actually move. They look like the babies, but when you set them down, they're just stationary. But these bunnies came to life. So I was a little bit shocked. Um, so if you see them missing at the end in the screenshots, you'll know why. They literally just walked away. <laughs> I don't know where they went. I don't know if they're going to come back. Like, they're not attached to a tree stump. I don't have a relationship with them. I haven't named them or socialized with them. So, for all I know, the bunnies have gone into the forest and never to return. <laughs> um, and here we have our pond. So, I am making sure to make this look really, really cute. Some of the stuff is new. Some of it we've already had. Again, you could go watch my pond tool video if you want to find out exactly how it works and what objects are new. Uh, we did get a few different colors of water and I decided to just go with the regular one that we already have in base game because the green was too murky and the other ones that have leaves and moss growing, growing on them already are, I don't know, they feel like there's too much. Like there's not much of a break between the water and the plants and so I don't think it looks super realistic and that's why I just decided to go with the regular one that we have already and those little squares that float on top of the water are the animals um so they will come to life when you go into live mode um but they're like spawners you can think of them as like little spawners and here we are doing the terrain paint, which I didn't use the one that came with the pack because it's more like a, I don't know, like a, st a stone, like, um, I don't know how to describe it. It looks more like commercial. I don't even know if commercial is the right way. 
I just decided to use that base game one instead. And the house is so tiny inside, but I did decide to give it a nice big curved staircase because I thought I could tuck it in the corner and make it look a little bit more cozy than just having like a, a staircase just like jetting out in the middle or something. And it ended up working nice because it gave me the perfect shape for the upstairs so that I can do a bathroom and a bedroom in one. And I also went through and added, like I said, more of the ivy and the wisteria along the sides. And I will end up sort of like moving the windows around because right now you can see the circular one is a little bit clipped into the wall because of the way that I sat it. Um, but it's fine. I just moved it over a tiny bit. You can't even tell from the outside. It still looks like it's perfectly centered. And I'm going around the staircase here with half walls. Someone saw me do this recently and they were like, whoa, I never thought to do that. But I really hate the railings. The railings clip funny. They clip through windows. They jet out through the wall sometimes. Like they're so incredibly odd. Uh, you can't just put one on one side. They have to be on both sides at all times. And so I use the half walls to sort of make it look like it's a a step up like an actual railing so <laughs> I thought that was pretty cool to do especially now that we have so many different half wall sizes those came out I don't know how long ago several months back but I'm still super super happy that they brought those to the game because it makes building with them so much easier oh snowy escape is what they came with I believe but it was a base game update and we're using of course our new wallpaper and our new flooring and I'm about to make our adorable new kitchen the kitchen stuff in this pack is so well done along with the animals obviously the llamas the cows the chicken the bunnies the wild foxes the birdies like they're all incredible I can see all the love and work that was put into them and I absolutely see that with the kitchen as well the kitchen is just absolutely perfect and so I made a kitchen build as well so if you want to check that out it's a whole separate room build using the cabinets in like a yellow color and then I did put a little bit of blue and green in there as well so it's very pastel very fun and we didn't get a new trash can with the pack but we do have a base game one that works perfectly and of course our gorgeous new farmer sink with the chicken on it I have to say that it's probably my favorite new sink anytime I do any sort of traditional looking build that's going to be my go-to because I love it so much and we also have all these beautiful new cabinets and shelving and there is clutter, but not a whole lot of stuff for the wall, but we did get the wreath, which was nice. So I put that in our kitchen and then I just laid the little candles on top of the half walls. They just snap on there pretty easily. Now we did get this new console table. It's not technically a TV table, but it works fine. And we did get a new couch, but no new love seat. So I thought that was a really odd choice, um, but the couch is really cute. And I'm mixing it here with a base game coffee table because we didn't get a new coffee table with the pack either. Uh, or a TV that's a base game TV. You're going to see a lot of base game stuff, obviously. Um, but the rug is really cute, and it happened to match that couch just perfectly. Now we're moving on to the upstairs, so I can start working on the bathroom, and I'm just making sure to use the same flooring as downstairs, keep it kind of consistent throughout the house. And the new cloth put tub is absolutely gorgeous. I love how pretty it is. And the pedestals, pedestal sink is nice, too. We do have one already in base game, but this one is different enough that it brings a little bit of more charm and character to the bathroom bathroom and we didn't get any new mirrors as far as I can recall so uh, again I'm just filling up the rest of the clutter with base game stuff base game towels and toilet paper and cabinets and <laughs> everything else and now the bed oh my gosh it's it's so weird because like for every good thing I have to say about the pack I have like a negative counterpart so this bed is so cute. It's wrought iron. It's absolutely beautiful and magical looking and so pretty and detailed. There is no other bed in the pack. There's no single bed. There's no toddler bed. Nothing. It's just that one. Uh, but I do really, really enjoy it. And even though this is a very small house, I wanted to make sure to squeeze that double bed in there. And I did find some more mushrooms. So I went and put those outside. I think one of them might be from Debug, and one of them is like an actual chair that comes as a regular item. And now I'm just putting a, an ottoman and a dresser. And I do really like this dresser because it has a mirror attached. That's probably why we didn't get like a single mirror. But I do like the option of having a dresser with a mirror because I believe that's the only one we have other than a vanity. Um, that's the only one that we have that comes that way. So I did really like that they made it that way. And here I am just kind of adjusting the windows so they fit perfectly over the paneling. So I hope you enjoy this. Here's a beautiful look at our pond and our crocodile. 
please leave a comment. Let me know if you think I did a good job with this and with the terrain. And please go ahead and thumbs up the video if you enjoyed it because it helps recommend my videos to you in the future and to other people who might like them as well. And while you're at it, why not subscribe because I have a ton of cottage living videos coming. Lots of builds, of course lots of reviews already posted and I'm thinking about doing a let's play so if you have any ideas let me know and I do stream live on twitch every day Monday through Friday if you want to come hang out the link is in the description it's just twitch.tv slash simmerkey so here's a better look inside of our house the cute little living room I love the windows I love putting the different windows there because they still go together very nicely our gorgeous kitchen with the mushroom wallpaper that makes me so happy and I carried the same wallpaper upstairs because it's just absolute perfection <laughs> uh, so there's our little bookcase with the bunnies and a shot into our bathroom oh my gosh I really like this house I love the way it came out I hope you do too and I guess I will see you in the next video. I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful day.